So one of the things that people ask me about is how to differentiate between the students that have IEPs and students that don't have IEPs or 504s for extended time on assignments. And so the way that you do that is using something called grading groups. And so the first thing that I do in the beginning of each semester is I separate my students that have IEPs or 504s and I put them in one grading group and then I put everybody else in the, another grading group um, so that uh, I can give allow extended time or even other resources um, for those students and that only shows up in their Schoology uh, page so they don't get confused with which resources are for them and which resources are not. So. Um, the first thing you need to know is you need to go to Infinite Campus and then differentiate which one of these students uh, have IEPs by looking at the flags. Uh, for those new teachers who may not be familiar with Infinite Campus, so you may want to either have that uh, marked down or, or referenced ahead of time so you know exactly who's who and what's what. Uh, but once you know who has an IEP and who doesn't, you need to go to the members uh, onto the side. And then right up here on the right, you go add grading group. Okay, so then the first grading group that I want to create is those individuals that I know have an IEP. Okay, and so I'm going to call this uh, extended time because that's what I've called it in the past. And so I'm now going to check. Oh, we got Skyler. He's definitely got extended time. General stu generic student. And then Dewey Dolphin definitely got extended time. So these are my individuals that are going to need extended time because they have a 504 or an IEP. All right. Now, you, you'll see is this little kind of shaded box underneath each individual is telling them what group they're in. Now, they're not going to be able to see this, so there is no uh, concern about um, what you title this. So they don't realize what groups they're in. Now, in order for me to be able to assign one thing for uh, the extended time groups and uh, something else for everybody else, that means that everybody else has to also be in a grading group as well. So I'm going to call that regular time. And then I'm oops, going to make sure that uh, everybody else. Now, I'm going to accidentally select generic student to show you that students can be in more than one group if needed. And if you made that mistake, you can always go to um, and go to regular time and uncheck him right there and create grading group. And so now what this does now is it allows me to mass assign um, assignments and resources to groups of uh, special groups of kids and so I'm gonna go to my materials folder and I, what I've done is I've already created a little fake mitosis quiz uh, that when you look at it in my set it, setup I had this be worth 60 minutes okay and so now I want only the um, regular time students to have this so when I go and I hit edit at the very bottom of all things <laughs> whether it's a folder uh, or an assignment or quiz you can individually sign them now if I just started typing names I can individually sign this quiz just to Marcus okay but I don't want to have to type in every single person's name that has regular time so that's why I created a grading group so if I just start typing regular time then I assign this just to the entire group regular time and you'll see that this quiz has been assigned to one group now I don't want to have to recreate this mitosis quiz from scratch and I know that I can't duplicate it, so the hack is is that you save this to your resources, save a copy, go to your resources, and here's your mitosis quiz that I just made. But now I want to change it, and I put 60 minutes and 90 minutes just so I can know the difference between the two by looking at it. But the students are only going to see their quiz uh, in their Schoology page. Okay, so it's 90 minutes. Now I wanted to go to the actual quiz and change the setup from 90 minutes. These are the instructions. Or 60 minutes to 90. Oops. Okay. So now, without having to recreate the quiz, I've made the adjustments to it. And then now I'm going to add that back to the course that it was in. publish this and then the final step would be to assign this just to those students who need the extended time bam so now and I go to my gradebook what you'll see for the mitosis quiz is it's going to be grayed out for those individuals this is the uh, this is the 90 minute one so this is it's going to be grayed out for those students who are regular time because they 
weren't even assigned this, so it's not going to show up in their grading book. And it was just the the students that are in the uh, extended time group, and vice versa. For the uh, students that are regular time, they're the non-regular time students are going to be shaded out with that quiz. All right, that's it.